today. Coming in a little bit earlier this week, only because I've got an appointment um, at my children's school at 10 a.m. But today I wanted to talk about something that I see a lot on um, in Facebook groups for bloggers, and that is uh, asking the question, should I niche down for my blog? And I've got a different opinion to um, some of the responses that I see um, in these blogging groups, and that is because if you're a blogger, write about whatever you like. You can write about cats, you can write about recipes that you um, create, you can write about um, tablecloths, I'm just looking around the house, whatever you like. But when you want to turn that blog into a business, you have to start thinking about your target market. And you, you have to think, should I niche down to uh, target just women? Or should I think about targeting both um, men and women in my blog posts and the use of my keywords? Because it's all very, very important. Now, one of the things, um, what, one of the most popular and famous websites in the world um, at the moment is, or and a business is Amazon. And what's their um, what's their slogan? They sell everything from A to Z. So if Jeff Bezos, um, who started out just selling books, and he only sold books on um, he only sold um, novels, for example, maybe his business would never have expanded to the the size that it is now. He started introducing all sorts of books on all sorts of subjects and then he started selling products. So he now sells everything from A to Z. Imagine if he would have niched down, um, he would have been stuck where he was. Um, many other examples. Uh, if you're a fashion blogger, for example, and your target market is uh, women's fashion, you really have only got one um, demographic in mind and that's a woman but if you're a fashion blogger who's offering styling advice for men as well well you wouldn't niche down to just women your target market would be people who are interested in fashion and just before I came on here I checked out the vogue.com website and some of the categories that they've got on their website include um, fashion, beauty, bridal, culture, Celebrity Fashion, Vogue Living, and Miss Vogue. So they're covering all their bases there. They're even including bridal. So you wouldn't even think about Vogue um, going um, into the bridal thing, bridal industry. They're just a fashion, an iconic fashion brand, I suppose. So if, that's, if fashion is something that um, you want to blog about and create products to sell, you've got to think about um, a wider market. And also a couple of other examples, um, people who talk about spirituality and the law of attraction, you know, if you just specify that you're um, talking about manifesting money, well, then you're missing out on um, manifesting health, manifesting relationships, um, manifesting personal growth. So you have to try and think of an overarching thing for your blog business so that um, you're not going to miss out on other potential sales if you niche down too much. Another example was one of my favorite websites called Tiny Buddha and this woman has um, so many categories I couldn't there was just so many to write out but uh, her um, slogan is uh, simple wisdom for complex lives. So you know all of us um, have different situations at different times in our lives um, she talks about change and challenges, so changes in career, cha challenges with relationships, new relationships, current relationships, happiness and fun, how to um, get more happiness in your life, healthy habits, letting go, uh, a whole range of different topics. But if she just spoke about um, how to have a healthy relationship, she'd just be, you'd just be missing out on two um, potentially um, so much business. Um, what I want to want to say that if you write a blog post, or if you're writing blog posts, these are the way. This is one of the ways that you're going to get traffic to your website. So when you're writing that blog post, think of your target market as a whole. 
um, people are going to arrive on that um, to your website via that blog post. So uh, it could be uh, 12 fashion faux pas, uh, faux pas for or 12 fashion mistakes made by um, by women for spring or something like that. So when someone um, that's targeting women, but if you have something, if you make it 12 fashion mistakes um, made in spring, you could include uh, posts there for men, or you could write a post for women and write a post for men and have a men category on your fashion blog, or your uh, blog about relationships. You know, cover the whole gamut of what's involved in um, relationships and increasing your self worth and things like that. So don't be too um, uh, niche specific when you're creating your blog and your website because you could be missing out on um, potential traffic and potential sales. Now, domesticity, when I started it, was just going to be recipes and home hints for my children when they left home. But um, a little way, a couple of years into it, I decided to create the slogan, um, a place to call home, where home is the acronym uh, for homemaking, organizing, making do, education. So in homemaking, I'm, I'm covering everything from cooking and baking and everything that you do in a home. If I just kept it a recipes and home hints blog, I wouldn't have people buying things from me that are gonna help them stay organized. Um, I'm also not targeting just women because there's a lot of stay-at-home men of stay-at-home dads and men who want to get their homes organized. So um, I'm not um, gender specific, but it's just a whole overarching thing of a place to call home and how to manage your home life. So that's my um, my thoughts on the process. If you're if you want to turn your blog into a business, don't be um, don't niche down. Be as broad as you can to cover all of um, the potential customers and clients that potentially come your way and and you'll be fine. So if you want to know more about this, you can always book a free 30-minute assessment call with me and um, we can discuss what your blog is, what your target, who your target market is and how you can then create content and uh, plan your content based around this. So I hope that's answered your question and I will see you all again next week for another uh, episode of the weekly Q&A. Have a great week. See you later. Bye.